Hey guys, so a couple of days ago, a brand new Tower Hero update dropped. And in that Tower Hero update, they added a brand new hero, named Hobok Frank. In this video, we will go over everything we know about Hodok Frank, how he works, and give my opinion about the character in general. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Hodok Frank can be bought from the in-game shop for 250 coins. When placing Hodok Frank on the map, he does have a limit of 11, which is important to note. Level 1 Hodok Frank looks absolutely adorable. To place him down will cost you 85 mana. He will do 3 damage and have a range of 2. After maturing a bit, you can upgrade Hodok Frank for 550 mana. His damage will be 10 this time and his range will increase to 2.5. He will get a new effect called area damage which basically means that he will hit multiple enemies. And of course he gets detection to get rid of all of those pesky ghosts. And finally Hodok Frank turns in an actual Hodok on level 3 which you can get from upgrading Frank for 1800 mana. Its damage will increase to 25 and its range will almost double to 4. He will still keep the area damage but unfortunately loses the detection. After gaining enough mana and spending 3000 on upgrading Hodok Frank he will turn into level 4. At level 4 he will have 38 damage and its range will increase to 6. He will still keep the area damage. And last but not least for a whopping 5200 mana Frank will become level 5 and at level 5 his damage changes to 50. Its range will be, which is actually quite okay for a melee tower as it is double the range of Chef for example. Of course he will still keep the area damage. It is important to note that when you apply skins to Hodok Frank, the meat of the Hodok will not change with the skin. Making some skins, like for example the Maid or the Sailor skin, not work really well on Hodok Frank. So what I would suggest you do when looking for skins would be to look at color skins or cool gradient skins and these will probably look the best on Hodok Frank. All in all, I gotta say, I am really enjoying Frank. Me personally, I am not a fan of melee characters like Chef, so Frank could be a pretty good alternative to me. At this moment in time, it's a little bit early to say if Frank is a meta or not. But I gotta say, I really love his design, I just love that we finally got another melee character and I think Frank would fit in the game perfectly. So if you got 250 coins to spare, I highly suggest you buying Frank from the shop. I hope this little review helped you guys choose if Frank is worth it or not. But anyway guys, if you like this video and want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!